Another nice feature of a table is structured references. A structured reference is like a name reference, but it applies to table data, either portions of the table or the entire table. By default, Excel automatically names a table a generic name. Notice that if I click in my table data and then come up here and make my table tools design tab the active tab, over here in the properties group, I have the table name and Excel generically names this table table 1 but I can go ahead and change that to any name that I want as long as I follow the rules for naming a cell that we learned earlier in this tutorial you want to always make the name one word stay away from special characters and it is not case sensitive. So I'll go ahead and highlight table 1 up here in the table name field and I'm going to call this SW sales and when I press enter I have now named my table and if I come over here to my total sales column select any of the formulas there notice that the table name is now part of the structured reference up here in our formula bar it's a nice feature for knowing exactly where your data is coming from when you reference or use table data within a formula now let's go ahead and apply this to our project. So go ahead and open up your sales monthly workbook or make that active or if you'd like to start with a file that reflects the development of this course up to this time select 0908 start file which you'll find in your Excel 2007 course directory and here is our Raspberry Brigade monthly sales report. Let's go ahead and name our table. So go ahead and click anywhere in the table so that you have access to the table tools design tab. Select that tab by clicking it to make it active and then over here under table name go ahead and name this table our monthly sales and enter that data and you have now set up structured reference by naming your table so that all of your formulas will now refer to the name of the table. Go ahead and save your file and let's move on to the next movie.